If you are looking for the best Canon lens you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on Canon lens in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability and reputation of the manufacturer and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a Canon lens we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Canon EF 70-300mm f-4-5.6 IS2 USM. Canon makes a Pro-grade L-series 70-300mm zoom, which comes complete with weather seals and an optional tripod mount ring to take the weight and steady up your shots, but this newer lens is practically as sharp, only about two-thirds of the weight and less than half as much to buy. Clever features include a revolutionary Nano USM autofocus system, which is incredibly fast for tracking moving objects when shooting stills, yet gives smooth focus transitions during movie capture. The lens also features a neat LCD display with options for showing focal length, focus distance and stabilization information. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Sigma 150-600mm f-5-6.3 DGOS HSMC. If money and muscle power are no object, the Sigma 150-600mm f-5-6.3 DGOS HSM sports lens is our favorite super telephoto zoom for Canon cameras, but it's a big and heavy lens weighing in at nearly 3 kilograms, which makes prolonged handheld shooting a struggle. This contemporary version of the lens is much less expensive to buy, more compact, and almost a full kilogram lighter in weight. It stretches to a mighty 600 mm on full-frame bodies and delivers an incredible 960 mm effective focal length on Canon APS-C bodies, thanks to the 1.6x crop factor you get from the smaller sensor on these cameras. You really do need lenses with this kind of reach for many wildlife subjects, long-range sports like cricket or baseball, and aviation photography. This contemporary lens is not quite as extensively weather-sealed as the sports version, but it's still very well-made, almost as sharp, and has the same range of upmarket features and controls. On balance, it's a better buy for most of us. The number 3 position is held by Canon EFM 55-200mm f-4.5-6.3 ISSTM. If you've chosen an EOS M camera because it's small and light, you'll want lenses which are small and light too. This lightweight telephoto zoom is barely more than a third of the weight of Canon's latest EF 70-300mm lens for DSLRs, and it's very much slimmer and shorter. Naturally, it's also shorter in maximum focal length, but still extends to an effective 320mm in full-frame terms. The other prominent factor in downsizing is that the aperture rating shrinks to f-6.3 at long zoom settings, instead of the more usual f-5.6. Despite having a plastic rather than metal mounting plate, the construction feels solid throughout. Image quality is good in all respects, with decent levels of sharpness helped by a 3.5 stop image stabilizer. All in all, it's the ideal telephoto zoom for a compact EOS M camera body. Next at number 4 we have Canon RF 70-200mm f-2.8 L is USM. The vast majority of 70-200mm f-2.8 zoom lenses have a fixed physical length, which remains the same at all zoom and focus settings. While this RF mount lens has internal focusing, it has an inner barrel that extends as you zoom from 70mm to 200mm focal lengths. This enables a much more compact stowage size, as well as a more lightweight construction. Indeed, it's only about two-thirds the weight of most 70-200mm f-2.8 zooms, making it feel better balanced on R-series mirrorless cameras. High-tech thrills include super-fast dual nano USM autofocus and 5-stop optical image stabilization, all wrapped up in a solid, weather-sealed casing. It's simply the best telephoto zoom for EOS R-series cameras, but it comes at a heavy purchase price. 
The number 5 position is held by Canon RF 70-200mm f-4L is USM. We've been promised more compact lenses with mirrorless cameras for a while now, and with Canon's RF 70-200mm f-4L is USM, we've finally got something that's much more compact than its DSLR stablemate. When collapsed this lens is no bigger than a can of coke, making it not only much shorter than the EF version, but also much easier to stow away in a camera bag. Performance is also very good, delivering an impressive 7.5 stops of stabilization, on an EOS R6 or R5 at least, or 5 stops on a non-IBIS camera. Sharpness is spot on in the center, though we'd like to have seen a slightly better performance at the edges. Another downside is that it's confusingly not compatible with Canon's RF teleconverters, while it's noticeably more expensive than its EF counterpart. Otherwise, this is a great lens for our series photographers. Wide-angle zooms. Standard zoom lenses are pretty versatile, but often don't give a wide enough angle of view. On an APS-C format Canon, the typical kit lens has a minimum focal length of 18mm, which only equates to 28.8mm in full-frame terms. It's wide, but not that wide. Most APS-C format wide-angle zooms, however, start at 10mm, enabling you to fit massively more of a scene into the image frame. Unlike with telephoto zooms, it's essential to get a lens design for your camera's sensor size. You'll need to get an APS-C format lens for shooting on an APS-C class camera, as full-frame wide-angle zooms won't give actually give you the wide angle of view you're looking for. If you have a full-frame Canon, on the other hand, you will need a full-frame wide-angle zoom to go with it. These are just our top picks. For more choice, see best Canon wide-angle zooms. The number 6 position is dominated by Tamron 10-24mm f-3.5-4.5 D2 VCHLD. Tamron makes some great lenses that cost less than Canon equivalents. This one is a major upgrade over Tamron's original 10 to 24 mm ultra-wide zoom for APS-C format cameras, with improved optics, for stop VC, vibration compensation, stabilization, and a new HLD, high low toque modulated drive, autofocus system. Handling is improved as the focus ring no longer rotates during autofocus and enables full-time manual override. Weather seals are also added, plus a fluorine coating on the front element to repel moisture and aid cleaning. The image quality is very good and, while it's not the cheapest ultra-wide-angle zoom for Canon EFS DSLRs, it is the best choice if you can afford it. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sigma 14-24mm f-2.8 DG HSMA. For extreme viewing angles, this lens doesn't go quite as wide as the massively expensive Canon 11 to 24mm zoom, nor Sigma's 12 to 24mm art lens, but it comes pretty close and is only about half the price of the Canon. The Sigma 14 to 24mm delivers stellar sharpness across the entire image frame, even when shooting wide open at f/2.8. Distortions are incredibly minimal for an ultra-wide zoom, and color fringing is absolutely negligible. The top performance optics are wrapped up in a superbly well-engineered and fully weather-sealed construction. This relatively new lens has become our favorite ultra-wide zoom for full-frame Canon DSLRs. The number 8 position is held by Canon EFM 11 to 22mm f-4-5.6 ISSTM. With its compact, retractable design, this is an uncommonly small wide-angle zoom that's entirely in keeping with the EOS M mirrorless design philosophy. Indeed, it's only half the weight of the Tamron 10 to 24mm lens for APS-C format DSLRs. With a minimum focal length of 11mm, the maximum viewing angle isn't quite as extreme, but it's very wide nonetheless. The STM autofocus system is virtually silent in operation, ideal for movie capture, where it also delivers smooth focus transitions and sharpness is further enhanced by dynamic movie stabilization. Image quality is impressive, and the extra short minimum focus distance of 0.15M is brilliant for capturing extreme wide-angle close-ups and really exaggerating perspective. 
As with most lenses that feature stepping motor autofocus systems, though, there's no focus distance scale. Next at number 9, we have Canon RF 15-35mm f 2.8L is USM. Rather than try to keep the weight down with a more modest aperture rating, Canon has gone for glory with this Trinity lens, adopting a faster f 2.8 aperture that remains constant throughout the zoom range. The net result is a comparatively large ultra-wide zoom that goes equally large on performance and image quality. Nano USM autofocus is fast and accurate, as well as being virtually silent in operation, while the image stabilizer gives a five-stop benefit in beating camera shake. A spherical and UD, ultra-low dispersion, elements enable impressive sharpness while keeping distortions and color fringing to a minimum, and both of Canon's premium SWC, sub-wavelength structure coating and ASC, air sphere coating, are applied to minimize ghosting and flare. It's the wide-angle zoom of choice for EOS or cameras. The kit zoom lenses that Canon supplies with its DSLRs and mirrorless cameras bodies will help you get started, but they can feel relatively basic. Reasons for upgrading include better image quality, a longer zoom range, or a faster, constant aperture rating, typically of f 2.8. This enables faster shutter speeds for freezing motion, even under dull lighting conditions, as well as giving a tighter depth of field. For APS-C format Canon DSLRs, the fairly ancient Canon EFS 17-55mm f 2.8 IS USM best fits the brief although, as you'll see, it's not our first choice. To see more, read best Canon standard zoom lenses. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Canon EFS 15-85mm f 3.5-5.6 IS USM. The 1.6x crop factor of Canon's APS-C cameras is quite limiting at the wide-angle end of the zoom range, so a regular kit lens that offers a widest setting of 18mm gives an effective 28.8mm focal length in full-frame terms, which really isn't that wide. The EFS 15-85mm lens has much greater wide-angle potential, as well impressive telephoto reach with its effective zoom range of 24 to 136 mm that makes it much more versatile as a lens for everyday shooting, especially considering that the lens is robustly built and features excellent ring-type ultrasonic autofocus system, along with four-stop stabilization. Image quality is mostly great and, although barrel distortion and vignetting are quite heavy at 15 mm, they can be quite easily corrected in camera or with software. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.